Now, birthday cake, please. Join me. And setting these kids on fire. No, I said set the kids on fire, too. That's one gift right there burnt. Very good. I see you're holding on to that gift there, little Jimmy. Well, let me tell you. My objective is to make them all burn, so you best be dropping it or you're going to be on fire, too. All right, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of... Excuse me? Oh, Lenny? Yeah, it's mine. I... Yes, I... <laughs> I created that Lenny face myself. You see, here in Raid on Your Parade, we get to have our own custom evil, mischievous cloud that's so freaking adorable. But all it lives for is to rain on people's parades. Get over there, get moving too. You don't want to get any rain on your picnic? What's well, too bad? Okay, so here we are today starting off in the wedding. Soak. The bride and groom. So called humans. I like the spelling of humans already. I do believe we have limited amount of water, so we gotta be careful about this. Let's start off by electrifying this and getting people storming about. I think I just got the bride right now. So you can't necessarily spray like mad, because you do have a bit of a water meter here, so you gotta be a little bit vigilant about where you're actually spraying the humans from. You know what I'm saying? So we already got the task met. There's probably a dry boy running around through here. I see you. I see another dry boy over there. Oh, we got all of them. They had no chance. Cloudy, cloudy, help. I might just be a dumpster, but these huons keep setting me on fire. Can you please put out all the fires and teach them a lesson? In return, I promise to take some ghoul cool photos of you in action with photo mode. Check out the prop of your screen when it appears. All right. Well, let's see here. We have to put out all the fires for one. Number two, soak all the humans. And I guess we have a hidden objective of some kind as well as we probably will for the three star. All right, well, I could probably do that. I mean, I see some of the humans literally on fire and if I'm such a mischievous cloud, is there really any incentive for me to actually put these humans out of their misery, right? I mean, I could even go ahead and take a photo of them on fire. <laughs> How about that? How you guys doing over there? Oh my god, this guy's not having a good day at all. Look at his face. They seem to be running into stuff, and whenever they run into stuff, that obviously gets on fire, but it seems to blow it up. So if I could get a fire boy over here for this car, maybe one of the hidden objectives is to just, uh, blow up every car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire boys, get close to this vehicle. Car, blow up. Now the problem here, Falcon, is that in waiting for that to happen, you did stretch the amount of fires around, which means do you have enough water to turn them all off? That's a very good point. That's a very excellent point. Stop spreading the fires. Got he! The dust. Protect the bomb. Help it go boom boom. Oh. Hey. Get out of here, you scumbags. So you're telling me these guys will not do whatever they're tasked to do. Which is apparently to stop the bomb because I rained on them. I mean, I would not want these people to be working for my local law enforcement agency. Oh god, a little bit of rain! I can't do what I'm tasked to do! Like, I mean, can you imagine in today's day and age? This could be some sort of, like, you know, hostage situation with kids? Hmm. Not sure what- okay, okay, hey, 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 you guys are speaking up too much. Alright, you know what? I'm being... No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Get out of here. It's raining, and you don't work on rainy days. I said you don't work on rainy days. They gave me, like, a ton of water here. See, like, in the other level, like, the water was so limited here, it's kind of like, yeah, I have all the water in the world. Hey, get out of here. Oh, we got them all! <laughs> oh, I almost missed this level. So there's a little bit of a branching pad narrative thing happening here. You see that? So we got dust, which is where I went, but I could have also gone here. And I almost skipped that completely, because I was looking at this one here. Alright, so let's do... Little beach. What do we got here for today? Soak all the humans and avoid the sun. Oh, the sun's over there. He's an angry sun. Kind of reminds me of the sun from Mario Brothers 3, isn't it? God, I hated that sun so badly. So exactly how am I supposed to... What is he gonna do? Like, take my water away if he touches me? Are you trying to get some of this, huh? You can't mess with me, my friend. I'm Lenny Face Cloud with the bomb. All right, let's start soaking some humans over here. I guess. Oh, you know what? Since it, I love Cloud, he loves Cloud. 
Oh, you know what? I think he probably is happy that we soaked him up because he loves Cloud. That's all I'm going to say about that one. So I got to make sure these people don't get under the umbrellas, right? Because then they will avoid me completely. We got everything done. So I guess had he touched us, we probably just would have lost the uh, chance to get a two star here for this one. Oh, and we got some shades for it as well. Okay. Now, I would put those shades on, obviously, but it's going to ruin the entire Lenny face. Although you're probably thinking, Falcon, wouldn't it be a lot more smug? Lenny, with, uh, shades? I mean, you're not wrong about that. But those eyes are so classic, you know? What do we have here? Loudy, Cloudy, help! Those humans took away all the trees. You need to help us. Oh, who am I? I am Froggy, of course. Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous video game. Don't act like you don't know, Ribbit. Hopping across a road, avoiding cars like there's no tomorrow, just frogging around. Frogger was really in the 90s? Did that, didn't that say 90s? Or am I wrong about this? Maybe I just misread it. You weren't in the 90s, my friend. You were around way before the 90s, Frogger. I was on the way back. Due to my pond when I stumbled upon this desolate park. Please, grow us a beautiful garden, I beg you. But spare the children's. They don't know any better. I mean, you say that, Mr. Red, but think of it this way. The kids of today are the humans of tomorrow. So we could, you know, wait for them to become an issue or get rid of them now. That's all I'm going to say. You know, I'm not saying necessarily get rid of all the kids, but it's just an idea to avoid any problems in the future. So we have to grow a beautiful garden. Do not soak any humans in so-called lamps, huh? All right. I mean, I'm so accustomed to just soaking them all up, but I guess, uh... Let's start off with the lamps if we can. Oh, the trees seem to just be hidden around. Ooh, this is going to be kind of tricky then. Okay. So we got to make sure that wherever we're spraying, there are no humans around. Like, see that one right there? He's very close. This picnic boy? Way too close for comfort. I also need to replenish water now. Just hang out over this. Perfect. What happens? What about this, uh, this guy over here? Oh, it filled up a little bit. Hey, humans, get away. Yo. Hit an objective, yo, okay. You see what I'm saying? It's hitting stuff all over the place all the time. Now, oh, that, that kid, whatever he is, too close. He must move a bit before I could get that lamp. Get out of here, go, go elsewhere. <laughs> Thank you. And he nails it, everything done, and apparently we unlocked. Mushroom head? Okay, I think we might have unlocked a little Super Mario little hat for us here. Oh yeah, that's right. Mushroom head, friend of nature, warning. Does not make you grow. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry Mario and Luigi is not going to help out, but we'll definitely keep that one. What about the shades? Yeah, you see, I could see it a little bit. It is kind of smug, but it's not as smug as just Lenny himself, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hello, Cloudy. I am Buggy the Bug, and I was put here by the developers to tell you they care about your feedback. So if you encounter any bugs, let them know, and they will work extra hard to fix them. That's it. That's my whole purpose. You would never see me again. Isn't it unfair how all the characters have such long dialogues and multiple cameos? But you learn nothing about me. You don't get to know about my love for the 13th century Greek architecture or how I bake a really good walnut babka. No, this is only the purpose I serve. This is my life now. So you know what? I hope you do encounter bugs. Yeah, I hope you encounter all the bugs and hate the mean developers. Buggy out. <laughs> I like that guy, he's got moxie. Alright buddy, let me go ahead and give you the old money shot for good purpose though, how about that? Alright, what do we got here, a school? More children for us to torture? Oh, hello there, little cloud. I'm just your friendly neighborhood grandma. Every story needs one. I am here to tell you about the magical exit sign. When you complete all the required objectives, it will light up. You can end the level by hovering over it. This way, if you do not want to complete the extra objectives, you can leave early. Don't worry, no one will be upset. Just remember to have fun. Anyways, I will let you go now. Uh, surely, such a well-mannered clown like yourself wouldn't be up to any silly pranks. And I, a respectable grandma, would have just stand and watch. Reminiscing about my own youthful days and school hijinks. <laughs> have fun. Grandma could be hanging around. I, I could give you a little bit of a super soak as well. So let's see here. A star means the objective is needed to beat the level. Explode the chemistry set. Wake the sleeping teacher. Overflow a volcano. Then the objectives we have. Soak backpacks and chase art kids into classroom at the end of hall. Chase art kids into classroom at the end of hall. Okay. 
explode the chemistry set. Like, that's my main prior priority right now. <laughs> we gotta cause some explosions as soon as possible. So, this would be a backpack. That's one backpack. Ooh, ooh, we got bigger levels now, too. Now, how is this cloud getting inside the classrooms? I mean, don't even ask questions. Would this be the classroom at the end of the hall? Oh, there's, see, I see the volcano thing over there. How does this work? Just... Yep, okay, we got that one done already. By the way, Falcon, are you keeping an eye out for backpacks? No, I already forgot about that objective. So we got those two done. Perfect. Is this the classroom? Like, the music stops here for some reason. Yeah, this is like the no fun zone. This has to be where we have to chase people into, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Do you fill me up with anything different? <gasps> you make me red. Why am I red? Oh no, but I could also turn blue. Hmm. And yellow. Yellow and blue equals dead? Do it. So, that's yellow. Where's my blue boy at? Turn me blue. And we do a little bit of blue. Oh, God. It did explode. I was hoping for, like, you know, death and chaos, but uh, we didn't really get that, I guess, because the kids are here. They can't necessarily die in video games. That's a shame. Okay, we got every objective. I think it's time now for these kids to be chased out of this classroom. And I suppose we have to get them to the end of the hall, which is where that very silent classroom is at. So let me just hover behind you. This is basically me just running behind these kids and with a metaphorical whip in my hand, you know? Just mushing a bomb along. Oh, no, 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 you keep going. Down to the highway we go. Let me go ahead and- No, 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 I was gonna go ahead and get some more juices, but no, no, you guys keep running. Come on. Come on, kids. Hurry up. Don't make me get the toxic spray on you, because I will do it. There it is. Go ahead and inject a little bit of life. Well, I guess they injected a little bit of life. And we got the- Hypnotic glasses unlocked. Next on the agenda, we have the old Amazon warehouse. We have to burn everything down. Jeff Bezos is not going to be too happy, although he's got all the money in the world, so I'm pretty sure everything here is pretty much replaceable for him. Even this human life, more than likely. So, I'm seeing fire over there, so we got to get that to contract somehow, right? We could refill up through here. Ooh, what is this? Why are certain points sliding up here on me? <laughs> What are you trying to tell me, game? It's kind of weird. We also got... Ooh, oil! Oh, I gotcha. So we got missiles around, we have oil, and we got a fire. Well, you know what they say? Falcon side of the fire! Go towards the missiles! Burn the missiles! Oh, yeah! <laughs> now, hold up, my friend. I said Jeff Bezos could replace human life. Let's give him a show. Go and tell him to take care of your family for what I have done to you. We got those burning. Okay, keep going. We'll bring it through here. Explosion of the barrels, very good. Fill me up, partner. Oh, God. All the missiles are going crazy now. <laughs> now, this is the chaos that we signed up for. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me fill myself back up over here. Missiles are still being launched. Oh, we already met the requirement. Oh. I felt like there was more for us to burn still! Well, how about we end the glorious debauchery here by, um, ruining the dreams and expectations of children on their birthday because our next one is going to be a birthday party. Set all the presents on fire. So, hey, we ruined a lot of, uh, grown-ups' day. I think it's only fair for the kids to get a little bit of the same action as well. Now, how I'm gonna get you guys on fire? We have a birthday cake. Oh, here we go. <laughs> now, birthday cake, please. Join me. And setting these kids on fire. No, I said set the kids on fire too. That's one gift right there burnt. Very good. I see you're holding on to that gift there, little Jimmy. Well, let me tell you. My objective is to make them all burn, so you best be dropping it or you're going to be on fire too. Okay. That's fine. Now, there's going to be a couple of water hazards here that are trying to... You, get, what about this man on fire? Get him on fire too. Is he stopping the flames? He is totally stopping the flames. Look at him. Burn him! Oh, you are... You are a piece of work! <laughs> this man... I hate this man. Burn him! Ah, uh, whatever. You know, we gotta round you. That's a really important matter here. Presents! All through here. Alright, we got Lisa's saxophone as well. Come on, fire. Do your thing. Now, what about... Here? What happens if I set that up? Oh, no, no! I got the regular water on me now. What about this tree on fire? Tree's on fire! Oh, I messed up his little airplane! Oh, that was the secret of Jeff to everything. Nice, nice. All right, we're still missing one gift. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. 
There it is. That should be it. What about the... Uh, oh, <laughs> I was gonna burn the food as well. Not only do you not get a gift, but you also don't get to eat. But we did unlock the little birthday hat. Unlockable. Perfect. Well, there you guys have it. This has been Raid on Your Parade. Still a little game. Bunch of levels to mess around with, different objectives to kind of um, get to, and obviously a bunch of unlockables. Hopefully you enjoyed. All the information will be down below if you want to check it out for yourselves. I'll catch you next time.